So in this problem, we're going to prove that every subset of a linearly independent set is also linearly independent. So here's the setup. We have V. It's a vector space over a field F. And S is a linearly independent subset of our vector space. And we're going to prove that every subset of S, every single one, is also linearly independent. So proof. Now, since we have to prove that this is true for every single subset, we have to start by taking an arbitrary subset. So suppose S prime is a subset of S. Now we need to show that S prime is linearly independent. That means that whenever we have a linear combination of vectors in S prime equal to the zero vector, all of the scalars must be equal to zero. So suppose that we have such a linear combination. So let's write that as C sub 1 times V sub 1 plus dot 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 plus C sub n times V sub n equal to 0. Now we have to show that all of the C sub i's are 0. Now we should say something about these V's, so it's usually better to write something like for some v sub 1, v sub 2, dot, 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 v sub n, and s prime, and c sub 1, dot, 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 c sub n, and capital F. So again, we have to show that all of the c sub i's are 0. Now, here's the trick. s prime is a subset of capital S. So all of the v sub i's, since they're in s prime, they're also in capital S, but capital S is independent, so all of the C sub i's must be zero by definition of independence. Let's just write all that down. So since S prime is a subset of S, and these guys, these little v's, are in S prime, then our little guys here, they're also in S. So now we have a linear combination of vectors and S. So this is actually a linear combo of vectors and S. And it's equal to the zero vector. So by definition of linear independence, we have that all of the C sub i's are zero. So let's write that down. So since S is linearly independent, C sub 1 is 0, C sub 2 is 0, dot, 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 C sub n is 0. Therefore, S prime is linearly independent. Let's go over it one more time. So you start by taking a subset of S. We call that S prime. And you start by writing down a linear combination of vectors and S prime, and you set it equal to the 0 vector. Now you have to show that all of these guys are zero. That's what it means for S prime to be independent. Whenever you have a linear combination of vectors and S prime equal to the zero vector, then all of the scalars should be zero. Since S prime is a subset of S, all of the vectors are also in S. So you really have a linear combination of vectors in S, but S is independent, so all of the scalars are zero, and we're done. I hope this helps.